Well, hey, in the shop with me today, I got my good friend and detail guru, Mike Phillips from AutoGeek.net. Mike, great to see you, man. It's nice to be back, Dennis. Well, you know, we, when you're here, we always, uh, we, I learn something, we do something, we, you know, clean the glass or the finish on a car, you know, we do, always do something. And we do it in a nice environment, climate controlled conditions. So, you know, can you do that in the field? Uh, we certainly can, and you we certainly did. Can, and we did. <laughs> so, so we were shooting a show, it was uh, Elizabethtown, Kentucky. And uh, so why don't you come up and, you know, do almost one of your boot camps, that, you know, how to, how to do this, right there. We'll do, we'll pick a car, we'll find a car, and we'll, you know, we'll make that car beautiful again. So, so you came up. Yep. And first of all, we had to find the car. And then suddenly, it reveals itself, a 1974 Plymouth Sebring Satellite Sebring Plus, right? Yes, exactly. Which is, a, which is a pretty weird car to begin it with. Is. I mean, you don't see many. A lot is. of sheet metal in that oh, car. Oh, yeah. A lot of sheet metal. Black with one of those kind of half white, white uh, vinyl tops. Yes. And, you know, it looked pretty good. But as you got closer, you could see it could look better. Yes. So we needed to find the owner. Yeah. But with a 440. Is that yours? Yes, it is. You know, this is a great car. <laughs> this is a great car. This is, this is it. So it turns out it's... Janie. Janie. It's a, the woman owns this car, and she's oh, you know, I love your show. <laughs> That's good. I want you to meet my friend, Mike Phelps. <laughs> and you know, we'd like to take your car and do something with it. And she, yeah. you know, she kind of looked at us, but, but we convinced her. You gathered a bunch of elves, right? Yeah, well, what I do is since I run the Auto Geek online discussion forum, I just put a thread up on the forum that says, hey, I need some volunteers to help me do an extreme makeover to a car. And I had a show to shoot, so I took off, and and then you guys went to work. Yep. And you guys, I mean, you really went after that car, and you used, I mean, you were using Pinnacle stuff that, yes. that day, right? What yeah. did you do? Well, the first thing we did was uh, we educated the owner just a little bit, and using the sun, showed her that although her car looked really nice, in the sun, the swirls show up, and those are in the clear coat, and they, they keep your eyes from seeing the beautiful color underneath. So mm -hmm. the goal is to remove the swirls, and then the trick is how do you do that? And uh, we use products from the Pinnacle line, the compound, the swirl mover, and the finishing polish in a, in a, in a procedure, you know, one after another. And I turn the lo guys loose using the, the Flex 3401. This, Which is, is, this a, is a great tool. I it, love this. It's a powerful dual action polisher, and that enabled us to really get in there and get the job done in a timely manner. Was she... Was she Nervous at first? Uh, everybody that turns their car over to a stranger, especially a show car, is a little, <laughs> a little nervous. nervous at first. Without any kind of credentials, but yeah. I think we, once I uh, did what I call a test spot to the hood and she could see the before and after difference, she says, go for it. You really took a car that, again, it looked, it was, it, it's a good looking car. I like that. It's sure. a, it's a, they're, they're different. You don't see many of them. No. But when you guys were done with it, I came back at the end of the day. And that thing was like a mirror. Yeah, it was incredible. And she was—I, I, she didn't even know what to say. Yeah, well, and it's—it's it's just uh, in the detail world, it's just step by step by step. You know, remove the swirls and scratches, maximize the gloss and clarity using a finer polish, then putting a show car wax like the Pinnacle on there. And uh, if you use good products, good technique, the right tool for the job, you can't help but get good results. So. Basically, it was like a little training class to make sure everybody's doing the right things at the right time on the car, and, and of course, the results speak for themselves. Yeah, and, and, it, and, and it was magnificent. And the guys, too, I mean, at the end of it, again, everybody worked, worked hard that day, but they were totally digging it, because yeah. they were also learning along, because these guys, yeah, they're yeah. professional detailers, but you've always got tricks yeah. that, that they don't yet know. You did it right, it looked fabulous, and you did it right there, an extreme makeover in the field. Good work, guys. What, six, eight cars to go? I'd get, I'd get cracking if I were you. <laughs> I think it's break time. <laughs> you know, and really, everybody can learn how to do this, and everybody can put a show car finish on their car. It's, it's, it's having the right products and the know-how to use them. Yep, that's what Auto Geek's all about. That's what Auto Geek is all yep. about, and it is indeed what Auto Geek is all about. <laughs> so if you want to learn about any of these great products or the techniques that you need to apply them, log on to autogeek.net. You are my service enhancement guru. <laughs> Autogeek.net. We are car care.